time you've reached Nick Baranucci with Continental Office. Please leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. What? Yeah, you better call me back. What's up? So my draw length, as you can see, is just a bit off. And I move my nose button. We're gonna fix that. What's up? Little problem. Ooh, don't like those. So when I draw back, I'm really having to like lean my head in to see through my peep. That's not good, right? Well, I would have to look at it, but I would say that your draw length is probably too short. So, and you're shooting a trigger release? I'm gonna switch to a handheld. Yeah, so I think that's even more of a reason to lengthen your draw length. Because when you use a handheld release, you're also gonna get some slack. Uh, what boat do you have? The Triax. Does that use the modules on it for the drawing? It sure does, Nick. It sure does. Yeah, and the saga continues. <laughs> you know what? You know what I'm coming to the conclusion? That I'm never going to be sighted in. Ever. No. Yeah, this is going to be an ongoing thing. I might just have to switch you over to a crossbow. <laughs> No, but I, I will get the, the modules that you need. It's not one of the local bow shops. I don't know. Oh, we're going to Attaboy's, boy. <laughs> no, that's a good call. I'm, yeah. I'm sure they have Shop to local. Them, so. Yep. All right. Are you at home? Yeah. I'll see you in a few minutes. I didn't know that I was set up incorrectly until I started really, really shooting this off season and learned why am I dipping my head in and the rest of the guys can just pull straight back because I am not set up correctly. I think I'm gonna have to go to 29 inches. I'm currently at 28 and a half. So. When I draw back, I have to do this. And I shouldn't be doing that. So yeah, you, you should like, be able to draw back straight up. Turn your head and you, your peep should be right there. You should be able to just anchor. You shouldn't have to be lunging your neck forward or, or anything like that. Okay, so this you're shooting 29 and a half. I'm shooting 28 and a half. Yeah, so you're, this is too far back because the, fle the fleshing is touching your beard. So. I would say if you just went to 29, then that'd be perfect. Um, I get to buy some new stuff. The best days. All right, we made it to Atta Boys. Got to get my mod and my new release. Adboys Archery was created off of a, an idea like four or five years in the making. Me and my brother-in-law were constantly driving around Columbus looking for someone that knew anything that could uh, help us out. Mm -hmm. And we decided, you know what, being self-taught, we can do this ourselves. Came together for the shop to be able to be done. 18 months after the idea was created, we broke ground. We wanted an atmosphere that was inviting to not only bow hunters like ourselves, but we knew that most archers are not bow hunters, believe mm -hmm. it or not. Seven out of ten archers only shoot target archery, right? It's kind of like guns when you think about how many people own guns but have never hunted in their life. So we do a ton of uh, target archery as well. Um, and and we obviously cater heavily to the bow hunter. I mean, that's where our passion is lies. And we just wanted a facility that was top-notch, one percenter in the country for people to be able to find, touch, feel, see this stuff. And it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. If these facilities aren't around, people don't think about this. Mm -hmm. So we're doing a ton of business that is new business, new to archery business, right? And encouraging uh, growth in the sport. So okay. that's where we're at, man. We're just growing like a weed in, in the first two years of being here. Yeah. So all is well in the world of out of work. So these are Halon 32.5 or Triax mods. They yeah. are a C mod, which is a 29 inch draw. Perfect. Is our 85% Okay, because I'm switching from a wrist sling to either a thumb or a hinge or tension. I don't know exactly yet. I wanted to see, talk to you more about it, but that's going to change my 
Drink my draw. A little bit, yeah. I tried Mox and Nick's on this morning, and he's at 29 and a half, and uh, it was just the, the fletching was just barely touching my beard, so we're just going to move it to 29 because I'm at 28 and a half now. Gotcha. So yesterday I went to Attaboy's and I got new mods, and I came up with my new release. I ended up going with the Stan Perfix Heavy Metal. Long, I think long neck it's called. Yeah, long neck. I love it because it's so heavy. I'm not gonna get too much into it, maybe another time. So when I pull back, I can't really look into my peep. I have to kind of like dip my head and that's not the way it should be because the bow was never set up for me. Now I'm going to be changing the mod for a longer bow length and I'm gonna be using a thumb button. Now changing this mod out is extremely, extremely simple. All we're going to be doing is removing this little screw and this little screw, sliding this out and sliding a new one in. That's it. You don't need a bow press. Alright, so I got the mods changed out. I'm going to try it out with my new release here. What's really great about this release is that you, there's a safety mechanism built in. So now, it won't open up. Now I can draw back and not dry fire. So, in conclusion, changed out my mods. The reason why I knew is because I was watching other people. For you novice hunters out there, Start looking at YouTube. If you really want to get serious, start looking at YouTube, looking at your friends. Everyone's out to help, especially fellow hunters. Attaboys was full of so much good information that I couldn't just cut out pieces of it. I cannot thank those guys enough. He walked me through every single type of release, the pros and cons of each one. It was incredible. But in the meantime, oh, that's better. That's so much better. Now I gotta move my peep. I'm not gonna show you guys how to do that. Nick and Dave are gonna be doing a bow build. So you'll see that some point this summer on Dave's vlog about building a bow. Awesome, can't wait to see that one. Hope you enjoyed my video as much as I enjoyed making it. Uh, catch you next month.